Hello, my name is Silikuni or Hida and welcome back to my channel. I'm a mess of an artist and I'm taking you along onto my art journey. Today is the 23rd of May, that means it's two days before NonkeyCon. But before we get started with this video, I wanted to tell you that I recently uploaded a new sketchbook tour. It's my second sketchbook tour on this channel and it's about this very chunky boy. So. If you want, go check it out and then return here to watch me going to NonkeyCon. I have two days left before NonkeyCon starts. Well, more likely one day because it is like almost evening-ish, something like that. And I don't have that much time left and I have so many things to do. And the reason why I'm only starting now with all my preparations and looking into my things that I need is because I have enough stress and pressure now because the last days I was very distracted playing Stardew Valley which I got gifted and it was the biggest mistake in my life because it is reminding me of Harvest Moon which is one of my biggest childhood games and I have 40 something hours already in Stardew Valley and it's crucial for my productivity so here I am also I'm very gay for Elliot like I don't know it just mm, I love him. On which note, I would love to create Stardew Valley merch and the Magnus Archive things. And there was something else I wanted to create, but I'm lost. That's the crucial thing about Borderline. I forget my feelings and emotions, so I also forget the things I like. And then I cannot remember things. But yes, as you may know, these are my two boxes which I use for all my keychains and my buttons and recently I got a lot of stock and that's why I needed the second box here now especially since I drew many has been hotel and hell of a boss buttons so I put them all in here and despite getting many things I also sold a lot and I also removed my patches out of here and have them in a folder now and in my last video I also created this new display but I didn't put all my buttons on I didn't put buttons on that I rarely or never sell and due to that I also decided to take them out of here and maybe put them on my online store and not carry them around anymore because it takes a lot of space and not selling them is not profitable because instead of carrying those around I can take other things around. On another note I have a very big Vogris order that's getting processed currently and it will arrive for Dokumi which is end June and until then I have to look through my whole stock and how I store everything to then arrange it to its best capacities and so that I don't lose space and can carry as much as possible with me. So my plan despite going through the buttons and see what I still need for Donkey Kong because that's what I do for each con. I look what is missing and I make new buttons because I have the button machine right here at home. So I'm very flexible with that. But instead of just doing that, I will also go through the box rearrange everything, take the things out that are just losing me space and then see how I organize everything. Like that's now the bigger plan. Also I will clean the box because after months and years of carrying it around and carrying it everywhere to so many cons, partially also having it open at cons so things can fall in, I will take everything out and also give it a good clean. I had so many of these back then and now I'm so low in stock. Just my daddy's milk. I think I will first sell out on these and then with my mommy's juice ones, which I have currently only as stickers, I will see how I let them reprint as charms because I want them to be coherent and I got these back then at Zap Creatives and now I order all my things at Vogue's but they don't have like they have white acrylic but they don't have uh, colors like colored acrylic I would need because for my mommy's juices I would need orange and green and like that it would be coherent with the 
daddy's milks but they don't have it so I have to figure out how I want them in the future. I'm also missing a bunch of my D20s, like my Pride D20s, because those two compartments are totally empty and I just like filled the orders with them. So I'm also like waiting for the restock of these. And then, yeah, here I have a bunch of things that I don't use at Con because these are still missing the keychains. And back then, when we ordered at uh, Zap, we had to manually put them on. And yes, yeah, I also had the examples from Zap in here, I think. These need some more keychains, it's just like a lot of crap I don't need. I also have these which I don't sell at all at conventions at the moment so I think I will just keep them until Dokumi and then I will take them out of the box and just keep them at home and have them in the online store and then if I get rid of them I get rid of them but it's not worth taking them along anymore because they are not profitable for me anymore. These two on the other hand sell very well and I'm also like restocking them already despite still having some. But I think they will only last for Nonkikon and Geekfach and then for Dokumi I surely need a restock of these. This box wasn't empty since I got it and I have it now for 3 years or so. Yeah, I got it in 2021 and it's so weird to see it empty for once. And while waiting for it to dry and be sure everything is fine with the box, I went through my buttons and counted them properly for once. Because sometimes I just look at the amount of buttons I have and see which compartments look emptier than others. And then I just reproduce them based on knowing how well or bad they usually sell. So if I know I have a button that sells a lot and I see there is only a little amount left, then I reproduce some more. If I have a button that's very low and I know it doesn't sell as often, I just keep it like that. Or when I see a compartment is completely empty where I usually should be a button, then I also stock up on these. Until now I'm already so impressed that I got most of my charms in here, it's like one third of the box, minus that one, like everything so far fits in there and I'm happy it works out. It somehow also looks very aesthetically pleasing, I just like how everything looks full and let's see with the others now. If you have a box like that and you need segments to separate the different compartments, you can just take some cardboard and cut it into shape and then you can usually slide it in but you can also fix it with some tape and that just does the job as well, especially if you have not enough of these pieces because usually there are not enough in a box. Let's see if this works. Perfect! I could tape them down now like I did with the others but I for once cut them into the right shape and the cardboard is pretty sturdy so I just keep it like that. Then again they fit perfectly into those given slots but if I would for example want one piece in between I would have to glue this down. So I might do that depending on how many of these I need. To be honest, this worked out so much better than what I would have expected because all these compartments are still empty. I think my new Vogue order can come so I can fill this up. 
I am so happy with that and can now move on to the next task which is creating some buttons and then see what else I have to do. Something I already did some days ago is I have ordered some things and before we get to this I stocked up on my envelopes. I got 500 of these, it's the smaller ones and then I got 250 for these. In here usually fits a dinner 6 print and in here a dinner 5 one and that's why I have those two sizes. I prefer also getting the recycled one because I don't know I just feel better about it and I also don't mind that it is brown. And what I think I will do for this convention, I already did it for previous conventions, I will print my name on here because you know it you go to a convention you buy something from an artist and then you cannot find the artist back so you cannot tag them you can't look into other things they have into their social media and all and i just already for table of curiosities enjoyed just printing our cauldron on here with our name and a thank you message and i think i will do that for hidekuni as well I don't mind printing them myself and it's also cheaper doing so because you can request to have something printed on your envelopes but it costs a bit and I just rather do it myself and yeah. So that's something I will be doing today while I can work on other things because usually I can print on 99 envelopes in one go while doing other things at times just restocking the envelopes into the printer. So I got these. Another thing I got is a power bank. I have no idea about power banks and technology. I don't know if this is a good one. It seemed to be a good one. So I got this one. And let's do this because it's satisfying. And I want to read what's under there. Okay. I got a power bank because I use my phone non-stop for selling items because I use sum up and I can type in everything I sell and keep track of everything like that but then again it takes some energy of my phone and sometimes I also record with my phone because this is how I record all my YouTube videos with my phone. I don't have a camera or anything like that. It is one of my goals to one day be able to invest into a camera but for now it is my phone and also especially the recording takes so much energy why I thought it would be handy to have a power bank. Like that I can just charge my phone on the go, I don't have to worry and also like if I need something charged urgently, also my sum up or if for example in the Airbnb there are not enough plugs to charge something so I can just charge the power bank and then with that my phone during the day. It's quite big. It's also quite heavy but not in a bad way, I, like the reviews seemed fine and good so yes. That's a chunky boy and that chunky boy needs a sticker later. And yes I think I will get this big boy charged up for the weekend. Oh well it has 79% nice but I will probably charge it all full and then have it for Donkey Kong. Very excited. Very excited to go back. This sticker is from Neurodus and I will also put the Instagram handle there so please go check it out because this art is so goddamn juicy.
hand sanitizer apparently leaked into my box so that's not have oh, I'm not happy right now the problem is I have originals in here and I have my patches in here and I think my patches for sure got something it's all sticky I'm happy I don't need this anymore this one is fine Well, they are fine. Oh, yeah. That's not what I wanted when opening this. Good that I opened it though, because otherwise I would have only opened it at the con itself, and if something worse would have happened, like if the state of it would have been worse, that's something I wouldn't have been able to fix because I wouldn't have been at home for that. Unnecessary. Ah, you. We have arrived, and here are our tables, and now we go grab our stuff and set everything up. Is this the artist you're talking about? Yes, that artist is uh, MVP because they were supposed to sit here, and we swapped, so we can sit together, and they're just great. My base is standing, and now. We put the displays on and the patches, but it's already on there, which is fancy. I just like my tablecloth so much, like it turned out so great. We also always leave a mess on the floor while building up because, um, yes. <laughs> ah, something fell, I don't know what. Yeah, let's see your things. Do you have so many boxes? And the last one? I need one of each. I see. Okay. Welcome to my box where I have all the necessities for behind the boobin with my new power bank and things are sliding out. But I need something very specific right now. And I just have to find it. Oh, it's over there. Let's take this out. And then let's take this out because here are my patches they are stored in this box what else is stored in this box is my disinfectant and that thing leaked and I only noticed two days ago and it leaked onto my patches which in the bigger picture is not bad because due to the alcohol and such it just evaporates but they now they have a different texture and they smell slightly but now in the air, in the open, not in the box, because it was also in the box stored away. But in the air, it's like not noticeable. And also, these patches I don't sell. It's just unfortunate that it happened. And uh, I'm not happy about it. Luckily, nothing else was in contact with the disinfectant, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, it happens. I put it now in a plastic bag, bubble wrap bag. And yes. Let's get this up there. We arrived at Donkey Kong, the table is standing, everything is set up and it's after 10 o'clock, which means the people are let in. 
So let's hope that there will be many people coming because I also know for a fact that somewhere else in another city is another convention. It's like a bit farther away but not too far away. But it might have an effect on how many people will come today and tomorrow. I'm also curious if like maybe some people go to the one con on one day and to the other convention the other day. But we will see. I was at this convention already the last two years. I was always very happy to be here it was always very pleasant it's not too far away it's like two hours away and it overall was always a great vibe here so i hope everything works out this year we also took one and a half table pair artists like my boyfriend has one and a half i have one and a half and like that we have more space because i think the tables are only 120 so this time i have my usual five fire shelves on my table and i just have my regular setup which i'm very happy about but yes let's see how today will be We are back at the convention, it is now Sunday and yesterday was amazing despite it being very loud again and it was probably the loudest convention I ever was, it was horrible. Let me film. No, I'm filming myself. But I want to give you a kiss. You want to give me a kiss? Okay, you may. <laughs> but yes, yesterday went very well. We had many people starting around 2. Like the convention started at 10, but from 10 until 2 there wasn't really much going on because first of all, it was very early and second of all, it was lunchtime. And during those periods, like, if it's a big con, it's not very busy. Which was the case yesterday. And starting at 2, as I predicted it, people came in, people started to buy things. Bought quite a lot, at least at my spot. Already yesterday I got all my money in. So all I'm doing today is pure profit, which is great. I don't have to worry. It's very cozy today and I will just have a chill time. And I really hope that the music today will be not as loud because it was awful. At some point the organizer of the convention came by from booth to booth and handed out earplugs. It was rather late already at that time. So they didn't help as much but now for today I hope that they do and that in general the music will be not as loud. To be fair they had a singer from Japan who sang so damn good and very powerful and the music on its own is great and I loved it and just the room wasn't made for it with the people inside. During some periods of time I couldn't really talk to the people, they couldn't talk to me, they were also holding their ears closed because it was too loud some were even waiting for the music to stop so they could talk to me and I could like tell by their body language how they looked at me at times how also what they said to each other like I could partially make it out by the lips and, and such and gestures but it's a bit annoying that when even the visitors can't really go three hours early and shop and, and just have a chill time there so I think that was not a good idea so let's see how today is going. I'm very excited. I'm very looking forward to see new people and people that I have already met before and just have a great time with my friends. In general, I'm sitting next to my mom's and yesterday we went out to have great sushi. It was so yummy. We go eat here to that one specific restaurant here in Speyer to eat sushi and it was just amazing and, and I love it. Also our Airbnb was the cutest lady. Like we, we even got breakfast and it was like the Airbnb 
on its own was super cheap and she was so lovely and it was so kind and it was just like one of the best Airbnbs at state. Es ist sehr, sehr nett und genauso bin ich stolz, so ein schönes Publikum zu haben, die meinen Kandidaten hier so viel Mut geben und so laut sein können. about NonkeyCon and wrap up my video because it's almost two months later. Today is the 11th of July and I'm a bit late but I didn't have the time to record this earlier with Dokomi which was very stressful and I'm glad it's over now. It was a great success and I will talk about this in a later video. Yes, I'm still catching up with my videos and I there's still so much I want to record and, and create and, and take you along with, so I hope I get to do this soon. And at the moment I'm just editing my videos. And while I will be talking about NonkeyCon and how it was, I will let you watch a commission sketch I did at the convention. This sketch is a D&D character of a friend and an artist, their name is Sassy Dashi. And they're super cool, so also if you want to go check them out, please do so. I leave their Instagram handle down here in the left corner. And with that, let's get started. In retrospect, NonkeyCon was great. I love NonkeyCon, I was there all three years since it started. And it's not too far away from us, it's very cozy to get there. Our Airbnb was awesome as well like i really loved that airbnb and for the rest as usual the visitors were lovely i always love to go there and see people again and also be recognized by people and just have like super nice talks with them it's great i really love longicon for that besides that it's also one of the conventions that have super good program they are so thoughtful about what they offer the visitors they had certain bands from Japan that they asked to come by and play for the visitors as well they had some program offered by artists and live drawing they showcased also many traditional Japanese clubs and are in general very Japan orientated not focusing on anime and manga only but really like also the traditions and the culture which is something I don't necessarily see very often at other conventions so it's always very pleasant to go there and also have that part of Japan brought to the visitors and to this convention and that's why I think why NonkeyCon is in some way outstanding compared to other conventions and I hope that convention also keeps growing and being a success and being able to succeed and accomplish their projects because it's just such a cool convention. The Artist Alley is also rather big for the size of the convention which I enjoy. It's very pleasant to have so much variety and be able to go around and have so many artists there one can talk to. Like also for me as an artist I really enjoy that to bond with other artists, to get to know them and to just like see what other artists are also doing. Then again I was also very happy that I could see my convention moms back, like I don't see them very often, especially if I can also sit right next to them, it's like always such a great atmosphere with them, they are super funny and kind and just so lovely, like they are such lovely beings and I keep saying that over and over but they are just great. 
Also here I leave the handle of the Instagram down here in the corner so please go check them out if you want to see more of them. They do wood burning but I sadly didn't get around to get some footage of their table because I forgot. I planned on doing so but I forgot. At NonkeyCon I sold quite many things with the main focus on my buttons as well my charms. In general that's something I sell a lot and well because it's not too big people can put them anywhere because unlike a sticker you do not have to choose a place and keep it there forever and if you want to remove it it is broken but you can just simply get it off again besides that I also sold one of my originals which I'm very happy about because it's something I don't sell as often and it's also on the pricier side on my table why I'm always very excited when that happens and I appreciate it so much for a person to actually like get one of these at a convention. And then I also sold one borderline zine. Like my borderline zines in general slowed down a bit, which I'm not mad about because I still just like to have them around and bring them to conventions and slowly but surely get them out because as I already mentioned in other videos, they're very important to me because I have borderline and I just like to share this with people, especially when I also get told that the person that buys it also has borderline and just like, I don't know. I just in general think it's very important to talk about it, connect with people about it and show other people that have that that they are not alone because often I feel very alone with my borderline symptoms and my disorder. In general, the people that organize NonkeyCon are very friendly and very open. It's a very great atmosphere at the convention and they also put a lot of effort into making it cozy for everybody. They are very attentive if someone goes to them and for example we had some questions and issues and I could easily go to them and talk to them about it and they were like very helpful. I had some difficulties throughout communicating with them before the convention over email but then again over email it is a bit hard to communicate at times because sometimes things do not come as across as one might intend them and also the organization for the artist alley itself changed like the person that was responsible for it changed and at times I had some difficulties and I felt misunderstood but I could address them after the con when I felt comfortable and they also listened to me and that was I was so happy I could do that because I could tell them hey I don't mean it bad but I felt a bit uncomfortable and they listened to that and I tried to explain myself and they explained themselves and I just think there was some miscommunication which can happen via email and I'm absolutely not mad about it I'm in contrary so happy I could talk to them about it and I just felt in such great hands especially at the convention. To address also shortly the situation with the music in the hall of the artists they have limited space why they can only put certain things in certain rooms like the artist alley is rather big so they cannot put them into the smaller room as well the stage. So those two things have to happen in the same room and due to the bands having live music as in they use actual instruments and they have a certain volume they have to adjust to that with the rest of the things like the microphones and all and that's the reason why it was so loud and they are aware of it they would like to change that but they have to work with the rooms they have and what they get so i also understand why they did it that way so I hope that maybe in the future they get more resources they can work with, but they are very much aware of it. So I'm also looking forward to see what they will do in the future to like maybe look into that issue. Then again, if it would happen again, I would not be mad because they are also only human and they can only work with the things they have and get from the hall itself. And at times if you organize a convention and you're looking for a location that can be rather hard. I at times get to see that when LuxCon is happening because my boyfriend and my partner are somewhat involved into that and it's not easy to organize a convention and to also keep it running. 
But let's talk about money. How much did I make at NonkeyCon? First of all, for my expenses, I had to pay 60 euros for my one and a half table because I shared three tables with my boyfriend and we split it into half. Then our Airbnb cost us in total 50 bucks, I think. So it's 25 euros per person for one night because we slept there from Saturday to Sunday. And then food, I probably paid around 20 to 30 euros. And lastly, we had to get there and we needed one tank. So we were around 50 euros, which is 25 euros per person. This is a total of around 130 to 140 euros, which is a reasonable price for this kind of convention, plus the driving, plus the sleeping there. And at NonkeyCon for two days, I made sales worth 999 euros, which is in some way upsetting because if I would have had one euro more, I would have made a thousand euros, which is great. Like if you say it like that, I made a thousand euros at that convention, that's one thing. But if you have to say I made 999 euros, that, that feels a bit like a joke. Then again, I am surely not complaining about the amount I made. I'm very happy with that. It is also more than what I made last year at NonkeyCon. So I grew again and this is really pleasant to see. And I'm very proud of myself that I'm still moving upwards. Because I also put a lot of effort into my table and into the things I'm creating. And I'm very thoughtful about my things most of the time. Then again, I'm a mess of an artist. But then again, I'm very happy with NonkeyCon, how it went, and people around me, and I'm just so excited to participate again next year if they take me again. NonkeyCon is also still one of my favorite conventions, like it's probably in the top five. And with NonkeyCon this year and this video, I upload my first video of my second year here on YouTube. I started back then with NonkeyCon, I uploaded my first video since I revived my channel on the 30th of June and this video comes up pretty much today or tomorrow, so it's my first video for the second year. Happy birthday for me I guess in some way, although I missed the day itself. I think that was everything I wanted to say, so thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me know down in the comments. If you want to support me, you can do so on my Ko-fi. And if you are looking for commissions, I currently offer some symmetrical portraits over on my Ko-fi as well. Although, if you are in general interested in commissions, like just ask me and I will put you on a list and slowly work that down. Thank you so much for watching. And with that, I wish you a good day or night, wherever you are. Bye!